In order to balance the chemical equation, Xe plus F2 yields XeF6 xenon hexafluoride. Let's first count the atoms up on each side of the equation. On the reactants, Xe, we have one of those. Fluorines, we have two. On the product side, Xe, we have one. And fluorine, we have six. So the xenons, they're balanced, but the fluorines aren't. So our goal here is the atoms on each side of the equation are exactly the same. That means we're obeying the law of conservation of mass. So we see that we have six fluorines here and only two here. If we put a three in front of the fluorine, two times three, two times three equals six. That would mean there are six fluorines on each side. We didn't change the xenons, they're still one, and this equation is balanced. Keep in mind that the only numbers that we can change are the numbers in front, the coefficients, of each of these compounds. We can't change the subscripts. That's the numbers after the six, the one, it's not written, but it's there, the two, or the one over here. Those are the subscripts, we can't change those. But we can change the coefficients, and now if you want to report the coefficients for this balanced equation, you could say 1xe plus 3f2 yields 1xeF6. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for xenon plus fluorine gas yields xenon hexafluoride. And thanks for watching.